Okay, friends, so welcome back to the vlog channel. Um, today we're gonna be sharing how we found out that I'm pregnant. I'm gonna be talking for a good portion of it and then Sam will kind of jump in because the first, I mean, a lot of it did have to do with me. Um, but before we do get started, I do wanna say thank you guys so much for all the sweet comments. We were reading them, or I was reading them to Sam the other day. Um, and they were so sweet when you guys found out we were pregnant with baby Robinson. So, um, subscribe if you're new here. This is where most of our little vlogs will be for baby. And then, yeah, let's get started. So, um, we started trying in March of this year. Just pick it up. Just I, had pick it, up. I had it muted. Just pick up the phone. Um, started trying in March of this year. And I had been on birth control for, like, if I would have made it to March on birth control, you know, it would have been like 12 years. It would have been a really long time. So I stopped in January, gave my body a couple months, and then we started trying in March. And will you just go let him in? <laughs> and then um, when I did track, what I did was I used the basal body temperature, like BBT method. I will link the in the description bar below the book that I use, Taking Charge of Your Fertility. It teaches you how to take, like I don't recommend watching any YouTube videos on it. There are tons out there. I think that book makes it so easy. It's just so cut and dry on how to track your ovulation using the temperature method. Um, and I did that with ovulation strips. So this is relevant, but basically when you're tracking BBT method, um, your temperatures are low, like your waking temps are low in the mornings, pre-ovulation, they get higher after you ovulate, and then sometimes when you're pregnant, you get a triphasic pattern, but we'll get into that later. So, tracking that way um, was, I liked it because it helped me like technically confirm ovulation with higher temps after ovulation, like you can see the temperatures rise and stay high, so you know you ovulated. Um, and I found out I was a day 16 ovulator, so I always ovulate on day 16, so it was very easy for us to like know when it was go time. Yeah, very consistent. Yeah, um, and it, I had 29 day cycle, so it was like super easy. Um, so we started trying in March, got pregnant in July, and found out the first week of August. So when we actually found out, we were five months in, and it is not lost on us that we are very fortunate. It only took us five months of trying. So when I say that like we were over trying at five months and we were just exhausted, like it is not lost on us that we are fortunate and other people try for a lot longer. Both his mom and my mom had um, infertility issues, like horrible infertility issues. So we know we're very fortunate, but by month five, we were just like over it. We were so tired of doing the timed baby dance, whatever. It was just, it, it, it got old. And actually something my doctor gave me when I went in March was a little form. And she was like, if you've been trying for like six months, you want to feel like you have a little bit of control in a situation you don't have a lot of control in. She was like, you can get your husband's semen analysis. I told him the whole time, we're going to get to this analysis we're gonna pay the hundred and thirty dollars and then I'm gonna find out I was pregnant and you guys nine days after we got the results back I found out I was pregnant so still a little bitter about that but um which, which means she was already pregnant at the time and yeah been pregnant when we did the analysis itself because it no, 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 no 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 not when we did the analysis I'm telling you you're wrong I wasn't pregnant when we when he did the semen analysis we, keep, we gotta stop saying we it was definitely him um but by the time we got the results I was already pregnant we just didn't know it so it was I'm bitter about it, it was $130 bitter <laughs> uh but we were just over it so we actually like I stopped really taking the BBT, like monitoring very serious. I was just like, you know what, this month, like, oh, I just need to let it go. And people are always like, oh, that's when it happens. And I hate that. I don't think you should ever say that to someone who's like trying to get pregnant or is pregnant. Like, I don't think that's true because we definitely still tried. We made a point to like try and I tracked long enough to confirm ovulation. And then that's when I stopped. Like people always say that. I'm like, that's not helpful to people try. I'm like, just relax. Just don't stress about it. Like that does not help people when they're trying to have a baby. I had stopped. I think it was like four or five days after I confirmed I ovulated. So I was like, whatever, I'm just going to forget this. I'm not going to take my temperatures. Had I kept taking my temperature, I would have known I was pregnant. And I, so I didn't know I was pregnant. And, and so, that to me was like so frustrating now, but I just kind of stopped. I was like, I'm over it. If I wake up at six o'clock in the morning, for sure on the dot, I will take my temperature. But if I don't, whatever. So start to get to the end of this, what should be this cycle. 
and I'm like, I'm not taking a pregnancy test. I'm just going to wait. I know my period's going to come. I'm not tracking. I, I'm not doing, I'm not doing an early pregnancy test. I'm over it at this point. So, um, and Sam had actually been saying for a while he thought it wasn't, I was pregnant. It wasn't pregnant. a while, but it, it, was, a, it was a few days. Like two or three days. Yeah, and so we actually realized this the other day. So I didn't Sam, say you were pregnant. I just said you're late. Yeah, I, you I said I was late. Like your period was so off, which he, at the time didn't connect to your pregnancy. So he was he was not wrong. So when I was on birth control. My period always started on a Tuesday because I would stop taking the medicine on, like it would be like a Sunday, which is my first day that I wasn't taking like the true birth control. And then by Tuesday morning, I would start my period. And so that's what he was thinking because he was like, oh, your periods always start on Tuesdays. That actually wasn't the case when you're not on birth control. It's just 29 days later. So he wasn't wrong where he was like, you're late. Because technically, when we found out I was one day late, but um, the timing was a little off. So we get to the end and then I did start taking my my temperature again in the morning. So it's like, all right, I know my, my period's coming. I just want to kind of make sure we're still on track. I want to make sure that I'm not going to miss, you know, anything. So I remember I took my temperature one morning and it was super, super, super high, indicating a triphasic pattern, which for most pregnancy charts means pregnant. I don't think everyone who is pregnant gets a triphasic pattern. I'm not sure the book kind of explains a little better than I can, but I'd never had a temperature this high. And so I saw it and I was like, okay, I just didn't sleep good last night or something. I was like, I'm not pregnant. Like, I just didn't sleep good. Whatever, the temperature's wrong. So we get to the next day. Again, I take my temperature. It is super, super, super high. And I was like, that's so weird. Like, whatever, not worried about it. My period's supposed to start today. So this is like cycle day 29. I should either be spotting or start my period some point throughout this day. And this is when I started complaining to Sam. I was like, if we're gonna, like, why are we doing this? If we're gonna do this whole dog and pony show, like, let's just get it on the road. Why is my period not coming up here? It's always 29 days. So I had some mild cramping. This might be too mild. My nipples hurt so bad. And at this point, I haven't told Sam any of this. Like, I've kind of just said, you know, all you had done was say, no, I'm not late. No, I'm not late. Yeah, I'm not late. And then and I just kind of, once that we hit that day, I was just like frustrated that my period hadn't started yet. Cause I was like, okay, it's, tw it's day 29. Like I don't even have, like, why is my period not started? So I ha my nipples hurt so bad when I got in the shower. I remember I like brushed up against them and I was like, oh my gosh. And usually my boobs hurt after my period starts. So that was the first time in my head I was like, maybe I'm pregnant. And then I went, no, you said you're not doing this. You said you're not taking a test. You're just going to wait. And I don't know what I, I was like waiting for, but so that was the first thing. Got out of the shower like 10 minutes later, I opened up a vitamin bottle. I smelled it and it smelled like eggs. Like when I immediately opened it, it just like this whiff of stuff hit me. And I was like, oh, this smells like eggs. And I actually checked to make sure the vitamin bottle wasn't expired because it didn't smell like that a couple days. That's the second time I was like, maybe I'm pregnant. Nope, you said you're not doing this. You're not gonna run yourself crazy. You're not taking a pregnancy test. So, then we hit dinner and the night before I took the pregnancy test. So on August 6th, I remember sitting down at dinner and being exhausted. Like I had worked out that morning, but I hadn't done anything like over exerting. And so I was like, God, oh, I'm so tired. So on August 7th, when I sat down at dinner, I, again, I felt like I had run a marathon and all I had done was watch Marvel movies. So my adrenaline shot through the roof and it all kind of started clicking. Period hasn't started. No indication that it's starting. My nipples hurt. Things are starting to smell weird. Um, I have hiccups because I've been talking so fast. What's the other thing? I'm tired. Like all of it hit me. The being tired was the big one. Oh, you were tired. And I was so tired. The entire time tired. and couldn't put it, like, yeah, and, put it and together. Yeah, and like, it was like a tired of like, I was almost falling asleep at the dinner table tired. And I, all I had done, like we sat on the sofa and watched, I watched Marvel movies and he played video games. That's all we did on this Saturday. Like we did not do anything. So my adrenaline shot through the roof and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go take a pregnancy test. And worse kind of, we kind of disagree on this. I don't think I told you I was gonna go take a pregnancy test. I think, I think you, you didn't tell me, you went in there Dude, to go to the bathroom. The table, you said you're gonna go to the bathroom. And then when you went in there, you like yelled out from the bathroom, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a test. Okay. And I think you had already like done the test and Probably. you were like telling me yeah. you know, after the fact. So I used the Pregmate pregnancy strips anytime I had tested before. So at this point, I mean, I was a seasoned tester. Um, and I also used these when I 
was getting my ovulation test. And so even like if you get a positive ovulation test or a peak ovulation test, these are like cheapy little strips. So you have to wait at least three minutes before you really see results. And then five minutes before they say you actually should like look at it and pay attention. So I do the little test. I remembered, I was like, I need to save the pee because these are easiest if you like pee into a cup, dip it in there and then you wait. So I was like, I need to save the pee because if I have a positive pregnancy test, I need to make sure that like I can do another one. So I saved it, I sat the test to the side and washed my hands. I think I like plucked my eyebrows. I'm telling you guys at this point, I was really mad at myself because I was like, you said you're not gonna do this. You told yourself you're not going to keep um, like taking pregnancy tests. But at this point, I mean, I was one day late on my period. My period was supposed to technically start like the night before this day ish depending on the math and i had all these weird symptoms so i was like really frustrated with myself so I was like oh i just said i wasn't gonna do this i wash my hands i start plucking my eyebrows i'm like i'm not even paying attention it has been maybe 90 seconds and i look down and i could totally reenact it for you guys so i'm like standing here and i'm just like and then my face gets real close and i looked up and i was like okay wait hold on you're wanting to see that line it's not real and i look back down and the line is getting darker. So I'll show you guys. We tried this the other day. You so go. you can kind of see it's very, very, very faint. But there's a line there. <laughs> so at this point, I do this thing where um, it's almost like Tasmania Devil style where I'm just like, I can't be controlled. It's like a very, I'm screaming and making sounds, but, and I'm thinking I'm saying words, but no words are coming out. And like, I'm hyperventilating and I'm crying, but no real tears are falling. And so I just am like, pregnant. And so I run out of the bathroom with the test and I'm sitting here hyperventilating. Like I'm still thinking in my head, I want this test to be positive so badly that I have in my head created the second line. So I come out of the bathroom and I tell Sam, I, I said, I, I, well, I don't remember what I said. Something along the lines of, I think I'm pregnant or. You, you like came out. I think you yeah, said. Scoot up. You're like far away. It looks really weird on camera. Okay. There we go. It makes us the same height. Um, <laughs> no, you like, you were like still halfway in the bathroom and had your head down looking at it. And you said, I think there's a second line is what you said first. Yeah. And I said, okay. Keep in mind, none of this is like actually, it's like, it doesn't, it's not English what I'm saying. It's yeah, just. You said, you said like, I think there's two lines or I think there's gibberish. a second line or something. And he's like. And I said. Okay. Okay. I real said, calm. How, I said, how long has it been? Yeah, you did ask that. I remember and that. And you, you were like, oh, it's only been a minute. I said, okay, don't you have nicer tests? Mm -hmm. Go get one of the nice tests. Let that one, you know, put that one on the counter. Mm -hmm. Go get a nice test. Sorry. That's when she went and got the a plane like fancy the clear blue one and left that one on the counter. And like as she's going to go get the fancier test, I looked at that one. I'm like, yeah, oh, man, there's, there's yeah. two lines. There's, like, two there's lines. definitely a line there. Uh -huh. And so then she gets the fancy one, comes back, tests it, and it's supposed to be what, three to five minutes too. They're the, flying. The they're, fly they're flying planes across the uh, the street. We're sorry. Um, but I think it's three to five minutes. Yeah, I, I think it's three, but I want to say it's five. I don't know. It's it's still pretty quick. It's quick, yeah. but not quick enough when you are thinking you're. But pregnant. it was again. It was like put it in there, it and within minute. within like ninety seconds. Yeah. Because we had like put it down, and I had started a timer on my phone, and I was saying, you know, I'll I'll watch it. I see it's like six forty on the dot, and at like six forty two. That's, this test was saying pregnant, and the other test was so dark you could like there was no denying. That yeah, it said it's pregnant. actually it was... lightened up a decent amount. I feel since we first took this. Yeah. the other one was so dark you didn't need the second one to like. Yeah, like you're like okay, that's that's clearly a line. That's not just me thinking there's a line. Yeah, like, it was. So at this point, we're like I'm on the moon. I'm so happy, but I'm still kind of not believing it because for so long I had told me that plane is going to make me nuts. I had told myself like, you're not going to test. You're not going to test. You're not pregnant. It's not a big deal. Like, and I guess it was just because it wasn't something that was in the forefront of my mind. Like it had been the other four months we tried. I was just so in denial because I was like, I think I want these things to like, I want it to say pregnant. I want there to be two lines. And so I thought I was still like making it up in my head, but I mean, the longer I looked at it, the more I saw it just says pregnant. This is the one that either says pregnant or not pregnant. So I was like, it says pregnant. So I'm, I'm pregnant. Um, and that was how we found out. We stood there and I 
sobbed uncontrollably and hyperventilated and Sam did what he usually does in a very stressful situation, or not stressful, but uh, excited. Any kind of situation where I'm losing my mind, he's like super calm and chill and we were just like, we kept, I remember I would hug him, we kept like pulling back and looking at each other and just being like, whoa, we made a baby, whoa. Um, so as far as telling our families go, we actually, a lot of people have asked. So we, I, I'm a little mad at myself that I did not film me taking a pregnancy test, but again, that like I was so sure I wasn't pregnant. Even with all the signs, even with that quick, like, wait a minute, I have pregnancy signs. I just, I, I didn't want to record myself getting another negative test. And so I didn't have my camera out and I so regret that so much. I wish I had that moment filmed, but there was no part of us that wanted to film telling our families. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know why, I just, I, I've always kind of said I'm like to be a, a content creator, influencer, whatever you choose to call it. Like I'm the worst when it comes to sharing people in my life. I'm very protective over them. The people, people on the internet are mean and not necessarily over situations like this, but I just want to protect my family and keep them off the internet. And I also didn't want to have a camera in my hand and have to be focusing on camera angles and did I get this person's reaction? Mm -hmm. and, and if it would have gone down with the camera in my hand, I would have only gotten my mom's reaction. We would not have gotten my dad. So we, we chose not to have a camera when we told our family. We don't regret that at all. And it was very simple. We literally went from our house. And it happened within like 30 minutes. Yeah, we, I mean. We like went and seen both. After we had our moment, we like, put on change clothes because I like wasn't wearing like a bra. I wasn't like dressed or anything. And we just changed clothes and went and, and, and told my parents. And I said, you know, it's a good thing you guys are sitting down there outside on their back porch eating dinner. I was like, I'm pregnant. So that's how we told my parents. And then we called his and just made sure that they were home. Um, and went over there and um, everyone was really excited. It was really sweet, but it is kind of different, so his... It, it was kind of funny that it's reversed. Her dad is the one that cries, and yeah. my mom is the one that my cries. My mom screams like me. So my mom bawled her eyes out, her dad bawled his eyes out. Yeah. So it's just kind of funny that like... And Kevin was like, great! It, yeah, big smiles. Like my, his... my dad has been wanting to buy this fire truck playset oh, yeah. for like two years, and he tells me about it all the time. Yeah, he's like so That excited. was like the first thing he said. He's like, okay, he said, I've been putting money aside for the fire truck. Yeah, he finally gets... Because we're... We'll get we're... Get it. We are making the family bigger. It is literally, we are carrying our families on our backs. We are having the first grandchild on both sides. So we have, we are, we are about that, or at least me, I am. I think it, I think it was expected for me, so that's not a yeah, it's, much Yeah, yeah, you're significantly older, and like he's the oldest, and he has three younger brothers, but I'm the third of, and we're all really close in age, so like I'm 26, my older sister's 27, my older brother's 28, my younger brother is 25. So we're all very close in age, but I was the first to get married, and so I think it was expected. I was kind of mm -hmm. gonna be the first to have a kid. Um, but I think, you know, our parents had expressed they wanted grandchildren, but never pushed us about it because both of our parents did have infertility issues. And so they knew how sensitive that topic was. Um, but they did know that both we were trying because we, we had just told them because they had kind of like casually asked, they hadn't hounded us, but they had, you know, asked and they knew that we had said when I was 27, that we were hoping to have a baby and I will be, I will turn 27 and then a month later give birth. So, um, my, my parents were like not as in a hurry for us to have kids young. I mean, like they, they obviously would have been happy either way, but like my mom had me very young. Yeah. My dad didn't have, you know, his first biological until Later. early, He's early thirties. So like he had a little bit oh, more, a little bit more, you know, adult time to like be independent, be on his own. And yeah. So it was, I feel like it was all, they wanted a grandchild, but they didn't. We're going to rush it. Yeah. Sure. They were like, if yeah. you want to wait till you're in your thirties, that's fine. But, um, so yeah, we did tell our family, but like my siblings, because we're all older and we're, none of us live in the house. I'm the only one who lives not in the state, but within walking distance of my parents, everyone else lives at least 45 minutes away or more. Um, you know, I texted my siblings and I was like, Hey, congrats. You're all being promoted to aunts and uncles. And it was like real chill and calm. Same with telling our friends. We just went to dinner and they we were, were, we were already going to dinner too. Yeah, that was actually, yeah, that's true. We like, they had actually said, you guys want to go to dinner and they knew like that was the most anticlimactic moment of my life because they all knew I was pregnant. They knew there are a couple of us in the group that are trying to have babies and we had planned to all go out to dinner one night in like August. And that was like the one day I did not feel good. And so I, I last minute was like, oh, I can't go. And then Sam went and they all were like, 
she's pregnant. And so when I went and we just showed them the, excuse me, hiccups, ultrasound, they were like, congrats, but like, we know. And so it wasn't a very exciting thing for them. They, they all knew. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's how we found out and we are so excited. I am, when you guys are watching this, I mean, I'll, posting it sometime in the next few days. I will hit 14 weeks this coming weekend and we will have our gender reveal up on our vlog channel this coming weekend at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We know what Baby Robinson is and that's another thing you'll see like so chill. So we did record our family's reactions for that but we did not have a gender reveal party. I think a lot of people actually think we had a party no. And filmed it that we did not. It is like, it's a three minute video, you guys. It is the most chill gender reveal you are ever gonna see. I'm wearing like a sweatshirt in it. My mom is sitting on the couch. I think she actually wasn't even wearing pants when we went down there cause she like had a blanket over her lap and she didn't get up to hug me after. And I thought about it later, I was like, I bet she wasn't wearing pants. <laughs> so like, it, 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 you know, it was just chill. Um, but we did decide to find out the gender after a blood test and we decided, you know, Sam and I have always kind of known that gender reveals weren't really, not really our thing. We didn't really, I have always joked, if you weren't there when we made the baby, I didn't want you there when we found out what kind of baby we made. <laughs> so very calm, very chill. It's like a three, four minute video and that's that. So that's how we found out we were pregnant. And, and other than the, you know, the highlight of the baby gender being out there, you got to all look at the cat that has a... Oh my god, okay, cat. yeah, so hold she on. She is the, she's the best part of the whole so video. So watch the gender reveal video, and then, so the way I did it was I showed what everyone guessed. So I like showed like what my parents thought, I, I said like, what do you guys think? One more time, what do you guys think it's going to be? And they say, and then I think it switches to your parents, and mm -hmm. then it switches to my friend who I'm FaceTiming. We tell you the gender, and then it goes back through. So it shares my parents' reaction, his parents' reaction, and then Allison's reaction. And when my parents, they're like sitting there very calm, they both start screaming. There's a cat in between like, my like mom right, and my dad. Yeah, like right, like right here this level. in between my mom and dad. And she, I can only imagine, like she probably almost had a so heart attack. Yeah, yeah, like she, she, was, she immediately, she was like, why is everyone screaming? And it is the funniest thing ever. So after you watch the gender reveal video, go it's back hard through. not to notice her. Go back reaction. through and watch Midnight and see her reaction because she was equally as surprised, but it was adorable, so. That's it guys, that's how we found out that Baby Robinson is on the way. We are so lucky and blessed, and again, it's not lost on us that it took only five months to make this baby, and healthy, easy pregnancy. I mean, this kid has been low maintenance, and so hopefully it stays that way after the baby's born. <laughs> we'll see, if it's anything like me, it won't be, but if it's anything like him, this child's gonna be chill. So thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next vlog.